السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته after finishing the first four or five countries visit UK Qatar Bahrain Emirates and Kuwait I have to go to the last country to visit during this tour in the month of July and we planned with the Egyptian Medical Syndicate there's a committee called uh, Humanitarian Relief Agency and we discussed the issue with the, the one in charge of this with the approval of the Secretary General of the Egyptian Medical Syndicate Dr. Hamdi Said, may Allah bless his life and to be hosted not only by them but by a very uh, official government organization and they managed through the contact of the syndicate, particularly Dr. Hamdi Said, with the Grand Chair of Al-Azhar, to let Al-Azhar to be the host or the sponsor of this visit. We decided and we planned to land in Egypt from Kuwait on Thursday evening, and the Sheikh should be visiting Al-Azhar Mosque to deliver a speech after the khutbah of Jum'ah on Friday. We landed in the evening, as I mentioned, to be received by official, because we are official visitors to the country, to the Grand Sheikh of Al-Azhar. Uh, and we were received also by many news reporters and journalists at that time. One of which was Middle East Agency, which distributes all the news to other newspapers. Then we went late to our hotel, which was called Meridian, in a place called Garden City, to uh, go next day to uh, Al-Azhar Mosque. Uh, in Al-Azhar Mosque, a lot of security was there because they knew that there's a VIB are coming there. And astonishing enough, something happened that we did not know, that the official newspaper of the government called Al-Ahram published our arrival in the state page, in the third page of the newspaper, saying thus, Mr. So-and-so and Mr. So-and-so landed yesterday and they're coming here. So the security were a little bit agitated because they were a bit scared that something might happen after the prayer. We entered Al-Azhar Mosque and after the Friday speech was delivered by Sheikh Al-Adawi, may Allah bless his soul, uh, Sheikh Salah Julakovic started to speak. Once the people looked at his face, his fair skin, and he, Arabic language, excellent Arabic language, spoken Arabic language, as well as his eyes and others. People started to curse the government, to shout, to yell, to yell, to want to go to Bosnia, let us help Bosnia, and, and, and. So, of course, the security were actually very, very scared, very agitated. I spoke after him for a few second minutes, and I didn't want to speak a lot. Then the representative of the Egyptian military syndicate spoke and his spoke was يعني, uh, offside, not actually uh, talking very much about the, يعني, uh, the issue of Bosnia, but actually he was actually trying to cover some other issues as well. Uh, we came out of there and uh, I think we had lunch at home with my family, my father and my mother and everybody. And uh, at that time I told my mother uh, please, enough is enough. I have my medical degree, doctor of medicine. Now I need to give up medicine. He said, do whatever you do, what you want to do, my son. I'm very happy and satisfied with you. My father has already lost his memory because I had two major operations. Previously, one in his intestine and one in his hip. And you could only remember the recitation of Quran when one of my sisters sit next to him to try to read Quran so he used to correct his being. 
This was our landing in, uh, uh, in Egypt after having these five, six countries visit in the past. After uh, the speech was delivered in Al Azhar Mosque, I think we had uh, to travel on the evening to go to uh, Zakhazik, which is the capital of uh, the capital of a district or government called Ashraqiya, and to deliver our our. Uh, uh, cases there to the public. Organized, this was organized by the Egyptian Medical Syndicate. Unfortunately, we were to travel without a representative from Al Azhar uh, Mosque, and this was a mistake on the organizer. So, the story goes on to other visits, inshallah, to other places. We'll uh, see you in the coming episode, inshallah, when we go to another place. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.